Hello, Forgot User here. After my last video about what I wish I knew before joining Webtoons Originals, I thought I'd give you some more honest thoughts about weekly publishing in general. This video won't just be about Webtoon, um, not the company specifically. I'll leave that for after my contract ends. <laughs> um, but just like what it means to deliver a chapter every week as a whole. I think you guys already have a pretty good idea. Um, but number one is that it's a very, very high workload. Uh, my contract um, basically has me publishing a set number of panels per chapter every week. And you'll s also be working on your webtoon almost every day in order to meet those requirements, several hours a day, um, with pretty little room for breaks unless you go on very long hiatuses. And personally, I also have to juggle webtoons with a day job in order to maintain uh, my current lifestyle because I want to buy a house in Canada, which I really do not recommend. Um, which brings me to my next point that, too, there are no guaranteed returns financially, really. Um, webtoons isn't really a surefire way to success. A lot of authors won't even make median wage, and it'll depend on how well your story does with the audience as well. If you're paid per chapter, your finances will be dependent on your delivery. And if you want to deliver faster to get your payment every week, um, you may need to hire assistants, in which case that would also cost you money. Or instead, you may, can deliver slower and, you know, not have to hire assistants and not have to work so hard, but it'll decrease the amount of money you earn. So you'll need another source of income. Um, I personally try to take a few breaks and supplement my income with a day job, which I really don't recommend for most people, <laughs> but I, I manage. Um, in the end, it's a balancing act between your workload and your finances. Um, number three is the episode count limitations. Um, depending on your contract, you'll only get a set amount of episodes and you sort of have to write around that. Sometimes there's opportunity for extension, sometimes you will never get enough episodes, sometimes you won't get renewed um, for your next season. There's no guarantee of that happening. I'm sure you guys have seen many weekly series get cancelled, even if you if you read webtoons or even if you read like uh, manga magazines like Shonen Jump, series there get cancelled very easily as well. Um, and then you, you, your series gets ended with no satisfying conclusion and you never get to tell your full story and sometimes in the terms of the contract you can never really continue it outside of the platform either. It really depends on what's in your contract. Um, so there's always a risk when you publish this way. Personally, in order to finish my seasons within the episode count, I've had to run a really tight ship in terms of pacing have to cut out a lot of scenes and I'll talk more about that in a separate video but you know it's not all um, doom and gloom there are some things that I do like for example this community of authors is really supportive probably because we're all suffering <laughs> in the same way <laughs> but then, you know they're really nice and everyone's really really willing to share resources and advice and knowledge and all that and I also like the fact that you get feedback from your readers like really quickly like every week um, after the chapter publishes, I can go in and check the comments and, you know, that's a really nice dopamine hit. <laughs> it keeps you going, you know, seeing people um, read and comment on and, like, react to your chapters basically as soon as they go up. Um, but that's about it, to be honest. There's no... <laughs> Otherwise, if you want a life, I would not recommend. <laughs> A weekly schedule to anybody um but it can be a really good opportunity it's it can be a really good opportunity to get your name out there and you know really take a chance and try to get a big break on your work but it really does depend um yeah so that's all for me this is all from my perspective of course it's not universal to all authors and Again, it really does depend on your contract. I can only speak about my experiences with Webtoons contracts and not in any specific detail either. I know that like some companies um, have it better or worse. It really depends. 
it depends on what company you're working for, and it depends on what country you're working in as well. So if you want to see any more highly personalized webtoon content, um, please subscribe. And if you'd like to read my webtoon, uh, visit the link below. I can also be found on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, also linked below. So that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!